Hey guys, this is Aaron. Uh, we're going to continue on learning sandbox tools today. I'm going to take a look at drape and stamp. And maybe a little bit of reversing too at the end there. Uh, so these are tools that are part of the sandbox tools we started talking about last week. I'll uh, link to them down below. And these are going to help you add additional detail to your meshes as you create landscapes. So let's go ahead and hop right in. All right, so I have a mesh right here. I already created it. If I go to view, I'll just show hidden geometry. This is what we're working with. Pretty simple. It's all the same size, no, no big deal. Uh, and we're gonna go in and use drape and stamp to add some detail. So the first thing is we're pretending like we got something like a road. So I have a road that's supposed to curve through here. Uh, it can be very difficult to go through and draw onto these angled moving geometries. So if I can draw in plan view, I can take that geometry, put it over the model where it's supposed to go. See, that's kind of where I want it to swoop through there. And with it selected, I can choose the drape command. When I pick drape, it's gonna say, now select the mesh on which you wish to drape. And I'm gonna go, over, of course, put it onto my one and only mesh. And what that does is Every place there's a line, it projects the line straight down, vertically, blue axes, right onto the geometry. So if I look at it straight from above, that green path will cover up my geometry, but if I slide over the side, you can see that it has gone ahead and cut into it. So it did cut, so if I come in here, I can see that it did break this. This is a separate piece now from these two pieces. So these lines did actually go in and break that. So if I go to view, show hidden geometry, I can actually see what happened it came through here and every place, every place it crossed a quad, split the quad at that location. Very cool, very easy. Uh, and this is especially nice. So if I was to come in with my paint bucket now and I could put maybe green grass on the hills and then a dirt color here, it's real, makes it real nice, real easy to put detail into a mesh. All right, let's, let's move on now. Let's talk about stamp. Stamp does a lot more. Drape's pretty simple. Drape says take this geometry, vertically drop it right onto whatever mesh is below. Stamp works a little bit differently. So I have this shape here. I'm going to say that may maybe this shape right here is a foundation. So I want to build a house and this is the footprint. There's a couple ways I can use stamp. So first thing, just like drape, I want to select the geometry that I want to use to stamp. That's my red geometry right here. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the stamp command. So the first thing Stamp's going to ask me for is an offset. This is a little confusing at first because you're going, well, I'm not offsetting, I'm stamping. Okay, but it's going to need, it wants to know if you want to put a distance between this flat section and where the at current mesh is. Let me show you how this works. So if I come in here and say, let's say, well, let's see what a five foot offset looks like. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. I'm going to go seven foot. Okay, there we go. If that looks good, then I can select the mesh I want to stamp into. This will make more sense in just one second. When I click the mesh, here's what it does. See that? See, there's my, there's my footprint I had before, and that offset is the distance horizontally from there to the mesh. So if I want to build a foundation that's going to step up, I could click like right here, and that'll slope down to my offset space that I had there before. It does break the mesh a little bit, but I can come in here and use eraser and my modifier key to kind of smooth all that out if I want to, if I'm concerned about having that look as tidy and clean as possible. All right, that's one way the stamp tool works. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my image there, just grab it from underneath, I'll slide it over here, and maybe I'll uh, turn it around. So what if I don't want to build the ground up to where this is? What I want instead is actually to cut out. This is a foundation maybe. I want to actually put a hole in the ground for this to be dug out. I'm going to build on top of that foundation. I can use the stamp tool exactly the same. So I'm going to come over here, select my geometry first, stamp again. Uh, I'm going to just set my offset down to nothing, down to zero. And now, I can select the mesh, and now I can take it, rather than have it go up, I can have it drop straight down into the mesh below. Look what that does. It goes and actually cuts down into the geometry rather than raise it up like we did before. 
pretty cool. It's a great way to add detail to functional detail to your model beyond what we just looked at, which was just our standard detail. There is one more command on here that we haven't touched, and that is flip edge. So again, going to look at my geometry, if I look at my hidden geometry, these are all quads. And occasionally, if I get kind of crazy with my detail, so if I come in here, I'm gonna go back to my smooth tool. I'm gonna go fairly small, like uh, maybe five foot. Oh, I gotta come in the mesh. And if I come in here and I create sharp geometries where this is usually gonna end up showing. So right here, rather than have this line go across, I'm dropping down. See how it drops down like a valley right there? This is where this command comes into place. Flip edge will allow me to take that edge and run it the other direction. So see that connects the two points together rather than creating a valley. This can create some pretty dramatic changes in your geometry depending on the way that these different pieces run. So here again, see I got this little valley going down. If I click this one, it's gonna flip it the other way. So now I have an indent here and you can just see how you can actually work through and modify your geometry by clicking to reverse these edges. Eventually I reversed it back out to the point that everything's popping out and I have no valley shapes there at all. That is flip edge, which is the final command inside of Sandbox Tools. So that's all the basics of Sandbox Tools. Those are the tools you have for creating landscape, and you can create some pretty detailed geometry using those seven tools. Did you like that? Did you learn something? If so, click like down below and subscribe to our channel. We create a handful of videos and usually a live stream or two every week, and you'll be notified every time those come out if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Most if not all of our content nowadays is derived from requests from viewers like you. We will make these videos that you want to see, but only if you tell us about it. We like making videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.